In this video, I'm going to be doing something really, really crazy. As you guys already know that I have made many of the videos in past regarding Amazon product research. Because when you're new to Amazon and just think to start selling products on Amazon, then the first and the most important question that comes into mind is what to sell. Like how to find a good product to sell, which is having high demand and low competition. So there are many ways out there to do the product research for Amazon with tools or without tools. And I have actually already made many videos on this topic in past. Like in all of those videos, I have explained you different method to find different product for Amazon, which are having high demand and low competition. And then later on all of those video, I just explain you the method from which you can just actually check. Like if you finalize a product to sell, then how we can actually check the sales of the competitor and make sure like if we launch that product, will it give us profit or not? But today's video is a little different because in this video, I'm going to be using chat GPT AI bot to do the product research for my Amazon FBA store. And then later after doing the product research, when I find some ideas from chat GPT, I will go on AMZ scout and I will double check and verify like if those products are worth selling on Amazon or not. Like you can just consider this video as an experiment as well. Like we are just testing chat GPT like the product which chat GPT recommend us to sell on Amazon and according to ChatGPT, that product will be in high demand and low competition if that product is really worth selling on Amazon or not. So in the first step of this video, we are going to be asking from ChatGPT about some products and then after finding those products, we will going to verify all of those products one by one to see how much revenue those products can give us and if we launch that product, will that product help us make money or not. So this video is going to be super super important and helpful for you and if you watch this video completely till the end and follow the same method for your Amazon product research so you can actually save a lot of time of yours and find some cool product ideas to sell on Amazon very quickly. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now and here I have just opened three websites. Number one is ChatGPT, number two is Amazon.com and number three is AMZ Scout. So first we will do the product research on ChatGPT and then we will go on Amazon.com and AMZScout.com and then we will verify like are these products worth selling on Amazon or not. So before start asking ChatGPT about the product, we first need to finalize the category like in which category we want to sell. So why not ask the category from ChatGPT as well? So let's ask the ChatGPT like which category is best to sell on Amazon. So, hey chat GPT, can you tell me some best category ideas to sell on Amazon? So here I have just asked a question from chat GPT and here chat GPT is writing answer for me. So let's see which category chat GPT recommend us. So here you can see that electronics, home and kitchen, beauty and personal care, health and wellness, clothing accessories and so on. So here you can see that ChatGPT has find out 10 best category. So we can just start finding the product in any of the category we want. Like we just scroll down and start reading one by one. And basically if any category you seems like it will be eye catchy. So you can just use that category. So here I can see home and kitchen is good and sports and outdoor is good. So let's just further uh, explore like in home and kitchen items in the category range from kitchenware, home decor, furniture and bedding. Okay, so let's finalize this category. So, okay, good. Now, can you please find out some high demand and low competition product ideas for me to sell on Amazon from home and kitchen category. So we have just further asked another question from chat GPT after our first question. So as you can see here in our first question, we ask about the category and in the second question, we pick a category from the first question and ask Amazon about some product ideas which are having high demand and low competition from the same category, which we pick from the first answer, which was home and kitchen. So here you can see that chat GPT has basically find out some product ideas for us and I can see there are eight ideas. So let's just start reading one by one. So number one is reusable food storage bags. Okay, good product. Number two, silicon baking mats, bamboo cutting boards, sauce white machines. So all of these three are actually having high competition because I have seen these product for past couple of years. So uh, I don't think that this product is worth selling on Amazon, but let's see what you can find later. So sauce white machines, I cannot find this product. Let's just go on Google and type this product and see what this is. 
the images uh, no it's an electronic product so we should avoid this one and cast iron cookware no spice grinder good just let's just search this what it is mm, no it's not uh, okay so we don't want any product like this so we can just ask further question from chat GPT like okay great but I don't want any tonic or common products can you find me some more ideas right so now we have just asked our third question so this is basically a counter question about our second question so here you can see ChatGPT has uh, start searching for some more product like handmade ceramic dishware it's good Japanese tea sets unique product organic cotton kitchen towel uh, good but not good because it's too much saturated marble cutting boards it's good but it's heavy and we have not asked chat gpt about the weight of that product so actually it's a good one so french press coffee maker handmade wooden kitchen utensils oh this is good handmade kitchen utensils uh okay they are good but i think they are having high competition so marble cutting board they are heavy vegetable spraylizer organic cotton kitchen towel japanese tea sets let's search for this one so okay this one looks better so right now the point is we are actually using chat gpt we are actually telling our requirement to chat gpt and as per its artificial intelligence chat gpt is basically generating ideas for us so now it's up to you like which idea you pick or which idea you draw because you can see that i can see marble cutting board is a great product as per the criteria we given to the chat gpt but this is our problem that we don't want a heavyweight product so we can just reject some product and if we don't find a product we can just keep asking from chat gpt many times like two times three times five times or maybe ten times until we get a golden product but for now i think that japanese tea set is a good one and we can just start working on this and start finding out like what revenue other competitors are getting and if this product is actually having high demand or low competition so we can finalize this product if this product is really good so after finalizing the product we can actually finalize the result like if chat gpt product research is valid or not so after searching the japanese tea set on amazon.com i can see this is a beautiful tea set and actually it's a cute one having six tea cup and a kettle a small kettle and the selling price is actually good reviews are not too much high and as per the numbers i can see this is a golden product the product which are having a selling price more than 40 dollar is actually having a good profit product and a product which is having a less review is actually a great product it's a good sign and you can see that all of those sellers are having only one fba seller that means it is a private table product so here the first stage has been passed like low reviews good profit margin and now let's just run the amg scout chrome x and check out what revenue other competitors are getting so from here i can just open the amd scout chrome extension and let that extension fetch out the data for all of those competitors like how many reviews are they having how much revenue they are getting and how competitive this niche is so let's wait for the amd scout to fetch the data all right guys so as you can see here amd scout has fetched out the data and here are the results you can see that the average monthly sales for this product is 680 units and the average sales rank is under 100,000, which is really good. Average selling price is $40, which is also really good. And the average reviews are 1,000. So this 1,000 review is actually an alarming thing, but we cannot just finalize the review thing from there. We can see that all of those sellers are having actually less review on top page. You can see that this seller is having only 76 reviews and this seller is having only 195 review and this seller having 514 reviews and still they are getting $14,000 revenue per month so there are some seller who are having a score 10 7 6 5 so uh, actually there are some seller who are on top of the page and who are having low reviews and they are actually getting good revenue and they are not too old seller like they are new seller so as per me as per AMD scout this product is a, a good to go like we can just start launching this product if we source this product cheaply from china because it's a small product like not too much bulky not having too much weight so we can just save a lot of money in shipping as well and this product is worth trying to sell on amazon so now as we have checked the revenue of the competitor it's very good the reviews are low and the profit is very good so now we need to do the last test which will basically decide that if chat gpt method is a valid method or not so that test is the keyword research so let's just copy the japanese t sets keyword Word and go on AMD Scout and after signing into the dashboard we can just go on to the keyword research and go on Amazon keyword research and here we can just type the keyword and click on this button find the keyword okay so when I type the keyword and click on find the keyword so AMD Scout is showing me this keyword and if I click on this keyword so I will be able to see all of the detail about this keyword like the search volume the trend and the sales 
So you can see that the product is loading. So here after when AMD is got fetch all of those products for this keyword. So we can see that these products are actually selling very good. You can see that this is the same product and having the 23,000 rank in home and kitchen category and the subcategory is teacup and the monthly revenue for this product is $7,000. And here you can see that the price is $40. So this product is a good to go. So as you can see here, we have just found a great product from chat GPT. And when we start verifying that product with multiple tools, so we actually found that this product is having a great demand like low competition low reviews and good revenue so if you follow this method and keep trying this method for multiple category for chat gpt and keep asking and keep pranks some product so you can just actually save a lot of your time in searching the product and you can just keep getting the ideas from there from chat gpt and you can just keep finding the products and keep analyzing the product with the method i just told you so if you do so you can just actually save a lot of your time in doing the keyword research and you can just find the best product to sell on amazon within no time so that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.